you guys all don't mind, I'm going to take a page out of Joe Robach's book. He's pretty good. How are we all doing tonight? I have the unenviable, unenviable I'm sorry, position of coming last or near last, so I'll start with this. Is Reverend House still here? He's not. Well, I was listening to Reverend House, I do, whenever he talks, and he said we all need to recognize that we have issues. Well, to make this somewhat entertaining, now that I'm near the end, I'd like to share with all of you, if you don't mind, I have a few issues. Uh, number one, would the gentleman singer please stand up, if you don't mind. Would you please tell me again your name? John, number one issue. My poor wife has to listen to me sing in the bathroom in the morning, and that's because she, I'm an eternal optimist. I think I might get better someday. The fact is, issue number one, I'm nowhere near as talented as this gentleman is. Round of applause, please. He did excellent. <laughs> number two, all the uh, uh, female dancers we had. I see one left, maybe? You know where I'm going with this, guys. I, I have another issue. <laughs> I dance around the house sometimes. You guys will never get a chance to see that, just my poor wife. Very good, thank you for performing for us tonight. I really didn't expect to show and it was uh, very entertaining. Thank you very much. Who's ever is left in the group. So I, honestly guys, I have more issues than that, but that's all I'll share for now. Uh, you've heard a lot of politics tonight. Uh, I don't want to bore you with any more. Let me start by saying this. I am Ken Krause. I live in the town of Chai Lai with my wife that I've now mentioned a couple of times now. I am running for New York State Assembly, 131st District. Well, what is the district number? I didn't even know my district number until I started. Four towns and a good portion of the city of Rochester. Chai Lai, Riga, Wheatland, Rush, and again, about 40% of the city. I'd be happy to tell you all about my platform, but it's near the end of the night, and you've heard a lot of people talk about their platforms and politics, so I'll summarize it to say this. I believe in the core Republican principles of limited government. We need to take our government back. It's grown too big. What does that mean? We need to reduce spending, and we need to reduce taxes so that we can stimulate our economy. You've heard people talk about it all night, so I'm not going to repeat that message. Instead, what I'd like to share with you is aghast, a politician saying politics isn't the most important thing. It's not. Um, I'd like to share with you something I think that is a little bit more important, and that's personality. Um, I hope you will all judge me after you meet me and after we get a chance to talk, so, but take me at, at my word for now. Again, I use my poor wife's name. She, she does honestly always tell me I'm an eternal optimist. Um, sometimes she means that in vain, <laughs> if I'm nagging at her in a positive sort of way, but sometimes, most times, she means it as a positive attribute. Why am I talking about that? Well, it's clearly not involving politics, but if you elect me as your leader, as your representative, to go to Albany, try to fix the problems we've talked about tonight, it's important for you not necessarily to know just where my politics are, but it's important for you to know a little bit about my personality. I am an eternal optimist. I'm always positive in everything I do. Sometimes I get disheartened. Sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm proven wrong. But at the end of the day, some people call it a character flaw. I'm eternally optimistic. I have a positive, can-do attitude, not a can't-do attitude. And the partisan politics we have in Albany right now is filled with can't-do, not can-do. If you vote for me as your representative, you know what you'll get. Somebody who will attack the problems every single day with a positive, can-do attitude. No matter how many times I might lose, I will wake up the next morning knowing that the sun will rise and I will be an eternal optimist that morning as well. Besides that, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you go into the booth and I happen to be in your district, if you happen to live in my section of the city or any of the four towns I mentioned and you see my name, Ken Krause, please think about personality as well as politics. Have a good night. <laughs>